I'm making another video. This is two weeks in a row. Are we getting our weekly videos back? Welcome everybody to your week one commissioner address. Uh, the league's like, whatever, screw it, pass it through, uh, it's fine. Like, you guys are gonna be thinking about it at home being like, cool, like, oh. On his LinkedIn, he actually has paper airplanes champion or something. <laughs> Yo, commish, how's it going? So that's it for the week eight address. Uh, the big story here this week the league not knowing how the waiver system works. He didn't make the airplane. Actually, uh, John M. Collins, he was the aircraft designer. And he's got his own website and everything. It's, it's like his job is to like go around and do seminars on how to make paper airplanes. He's got videos of him with the mic and PowerPoints and he's talking about making paper airplanes. I was kind of interested in this guy. He looks weird. But anyways, he's got his... Hey, Kamish. I am thankful for all of the confrontation, fighting, arguing, shitty trades, and everything else in the league that helped me to get to know who was. Jason, I don't know what you're doing, but it didn't work. It's an absolute pleasure to be on the show today. At number 12, part me unanimously. out of the Prime Meridian, so thanks for having me on. Alright, boys, look. I know I'm back. We got our second video in as many weeks, and that's amazing. But don't get your hopes up. We probably probably won't have them every week, because you know of my history, I always fall off about week two, so. But, nonetheless, I got the recording device on. We gonna make a video week two address. Here we go. We gonna start off with our week one matchups. We gonna check the standings, and then we gonna look at the week two. And then I'm just gonna give a couple hot takes um, about kind of the direction that this league is going right now. Who's probably the worst teams? I already got two in my head that I think are the worst. So, anyways, let's get into it. Let's start off. Gotta record my screen here. Let's start off here. We're going to start off with coach versus me. And I won 152 to 112. I called it. I knew I said it in the first video I was going to win. And I did. It wasn't even close. Um, the, yeah, just I got too many good players on my team that did well. Um, Juju did awesome. Hopkins did options. Did awesome. Um, I think the Kyler Murray DeAndre Hopkins duo is going to be good this year boys and I know Frank had mentioned in the group chat a couple other people had some duos and those teams won as well I think that's just the way to go so um, coach Bartney Jonathan Taylor might be pretty good now that uh, who is it max out for the season and he'll have Cortland Sutton coming back too so you know he might be okay he might win a couple games but I, I stick to what I said I don't think he's got a great team all right, here we go. Uh, number two here, uh, Hunter versus Colin. Colin beat him pretty easily, although Colin has some injuries. Lost Le'Veon for what's uh, looking to be a couple weeks. Um, he also had Debo Samuel, who I think is out for the first three weeks of the season. And Marlon Mack is out for the season. So Colin already dealing with injuries, <laughs> but he's at the top of the leaderboard. He's 1-0. Wouldn't expect anything else. And then we got Hunter over here. Josh Allen did awesome. Zeke did awesome. Um, and that's about it. Tyler Lockett did pretty well. Um, that's about what you can expect. 120 points is a good score. That would have beat a few other people in this league. So 
stinks he had to play Colin, um, but starting out 0-1 is never good. All right, we got the Eggemeyer brothers here, and actually Coulter had the lead all the way up until Monday night, the last game of the freaking uh, first week. Derrick Henry came out with 100, 116 rushing yards and uh, kind of sealed the deal on that one. Noah Fan actually was the one who, at the beginning, took over and kind of got Blaine the win there. So, um, Coulter, a uh, little surprise here. Your team is one of the teams I think is just the worst team probably we've ever drafted in this league. I don't know what you was thinking. I mean, even, even people were saying after the draft that your team was just bad. <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> I don't know what you was thinking. You took Kamara. Can't go wrong there. And then, I mean, I don't even could, couldn't even tell you who your second round pick was. That's how bad you're taking. <laughs> but we'll get into it in a bit. So, um, Blaine, you got a pretty decent team. Just gotta, just gotta not get injured here. I don't know why you even played Minnesota defense against the Packers. I was. Anyways, on to the next. We got. Adam and Brad. Um, Adam, your team is not that bad. Am I saying that just because I'm playing you this week? Maybe. Do I want to say your team is... I mean, it ain't great. It ain't great. So Brad beat you. He had a great performance by Josh Jacobs. Three touchdowns. I take that every time. Um, Josh Jacobs and Russell Wilson put up points. Robert Woods did pretty good, and nobody else really did anything. So, you know, if you can get a couple guys to go off on your team, you're usually going to do pretty well. We have Jason and Alex in this matchup. Jason won. We all had Alex pegged as the number one team after his draft. Uh, did they perform? No. Um, Keenan Allen did not. Kittle did not. T.Y. kind of. And then he played Leonard Fournette for some reason, even though we all knew he wasn't really that big part of the offense yet. So Jason won. Um, even if Alex had made all the right moves, um, actually he probably could have won if he played uh, UC down there, Cam Newton and Dobbins, he probably could have won. But Jason with the win here, uh, I know he's excited after having some bad, bad seasons in a row. So hoping to start off uh, with a little win streak here, probably Jason is. And then we have Frank versus Nick. Nick, um, man, I mean, I know Michael Thomas getting hurt and putting up only four points is, is not what you want to see, but nobody else on your team did anything. So um, your team's one of the other ones that I think is really bad. Um, I mean, 83 points is bad. Even if, even if Michael Thomas is hurt, you should be scoring a little more than 83. Um, Frank, your team, I like Dalvin, Calvin Ridley's good, Travis Kelsey's cool, Slayton, didn't play Slayton, okay, you might have to think about playing him in the future now, uh, yeah, Frank got a pretty decent team, and, uh, you get the win this week, so, let's check out the leaderboard here, let's see where everyone's sitting, and as you can see, right there, right there, at the top, right there, we got me first place now did I expect to win week one I was hoping on my fingers crossed was I expecting to score 152 points heck no my teams don't score 152 points my teams score about 103 104 and I cross my fingers that players on the other team get hurt <laughs> And that's how I sneak into the playoffs, even though I don't really make playoffs. But anyways, I will take a victory week one. Now, I will say I only had 112 points scored against me. Now, it, it doesn't matter. I would have beaten anyone. Um, so I'm at first. Collins at second, according to points scored with 144. And then Jason, Frank, Brad, Blaine. We're all the undefeateds right now. Uh, we're all the undefeateds. And then we got Hunter, who, um, you know, 119 points is not bad. But, you know, you didn't get, you know, an unlucky matchup or anything because you were still technically bottom half of the league in points points four on the, in the first, first week. So that's the standings. We got Adam, Nick, 
just sitting there at the bottom, not looking good. But I will say, I think Coulter, even though his team put up 114, is, is, is him and Nick are the worst teams in the league, in my eyes. Don't know why. I thought Coulter would somehow have a sneaky good draft, but after looking at his team a little bit more, I hate his team. Coulter, I do not like your team. I think you're going to be one of the worst teams in the league this year. And I think Nick, I'm not just saying it because he only put up 83. I'm saying it because I'm looking at your team. Oh! And Kareem Hunt is taking stuff from Nick Chubb. You got Lamar Jackson, which is cool. But, dude, your team's bad. So, I know you're always at the top, but this year you're going to be at the bottom. And one of you two, I'm calling it now, Coulter, Nick Walker, one of you two is going to have that dang <laughs> I suck at fantasy football bumper sticker on the back of your car come about January. We're going to have to give it to you. <laughs> I got it. I'll make a trip and hand deliver it if I need to. Stick it right on the back of your car. And you know what? Brad was a good man for actually living up to his end of that deal. Because nobody else ever did their consequence. So we're going to have to do the bumper sticker. And then we're going to have to think of something else to do during the flow trip for punishment. Or not flow trip, but uh, leg trip. The annual. It's always a banger, according to Alex. He said, Alex said, the, the leg trip's always a banger. <laughs> And Adam goes, don't you only do it one year? Yep. <laughs> All right, this video is going to get a little long. So let me go to uh, week two. How do I do that? Schedule week two. All right, this is the first time I'm looking at it. I'm going to do just rapid fire picks. We got Adam versus me. Holy crap, I'm projected to lose. Pretty bad, too. But I'm going to take me because my team's coming off of a high right now. Wow, I'm really projected to lose. So we're going to pick me. Let's see. Colin versus is that Coulter. Colin needs a running back, obviously. He doesn't even have one put in there. Um, we're going to go with Colin, obviously, because Coulter's team is just really bad. Okay. We got Coach versus Blaine. We going with Blaine. We got... Brad versus Nick. We going with Brad. How come the teams I said are going to be bad now have a high projection points? It don't matter. They're not going to produce. I'm going Brad on this one. Easy. We got Frank versus Alex. Man, we got to go with Alex. We said he had the number one team after the draft. Week one, played decent. Hopefully he puts Kane in here for week two. Um, I don't know who he's playing, but... Hopefully, he puts Cam in um, and takes Fournette out. But either way, I'm going to go with Alex. And then we have Jason versus Hunter. Um, ooh, we're going to go with Hunter on this one. Sorry, Jay. I think Zeke's really good. Josh Allen's good. Um, actually, kind of depends on what James Conner does, but we'll, we'll go with Hunter on this one. So, those are your week two looks. Again. Did I, oh, did I just lose that screen recording? Look, did I expect to be number one? No. Am I gonna be humble with it? We'll see how long it lasts. Right now, yes. But if I went two, three, four. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. Oh. Hey. Y'all gonna be hearing about it for a long time. So look, to wrap this video up, one, everyone go do Brad's poll that he created in the group me. Answer it how truthfully, I guess. Two, we need to think of a league buy-in. We still don't have a number. We need to think of a punishment for the lake, like I had mentioned, uh, on top of the bumper sticker. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Uh, I'll leave you at that. We finally got two videos out in a row. Will we do three? I don't know. If I start losing games, I'll probably stop up. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. But uh, yeah. Anyways, have a good uh, have a good week. Good luck to everyone for week two. Um, yeah, and hopefully I get a victory. <laughs>